So, let me tell you this. It's like every corner or every five steps that I took is like, what's some wheat? I got some wheat, Brian. I got some wheat. I got some wheat. It, like, that's all I was getting. Like, they just crept, just creeping. Like, how did you get here? And, I, and like, it's, I'm so perceptive of hearing because my, since my vision is bad, I do rely like on my ears and stuff. It's like, I didn't hear them coming. I didn't hear them like, you know, trip or step on a rock on a um, concrete or whatever, or the freaking street or the sidewalk. It's like, okay, where did you come from? When did you get up beside me? And why are you so close to me? And I'm like, you're just trying to sell me weed. I'm like, oh my gosh. And it's like, out of everybody in my family that I was with, of course, I'm the only one that has locks, for one. I don't mind because I love my hair. Two, <laughs> I'm just walking like I'm carefree anyway. Like, <sighs> that's all I was getting is like, <laughs> do you want some weed? I'm selling weed. I got some weed brownies. I've seen the weed brownies. I've seen weed cupcakes. And <laughs> honestly, I think it's because of my hair. My family said it's because of my hair because I have locks. Even I was getting compliments on my locks too. Like, I love your hair. I love your hair. And like the way I was wearing my hair, I was wearing my hair, I had like one of the big elastic scrunchies. I was wearing my hair back. So you can see like all of this is grown back. Like all this is back except for my bang. And whatnot so I'm just wearing my hair back so the only thing that you see is like my face because that's I just want the tension on my face I want the tension off my freaking head too because it's, it's already hot so like everybody just give me like not everybody but a good sum of people were giving me compliments saying I love your hair I love the style and so like because normally you see like Rastafarians and stuff they don't do anything that, like as far as they let their hair do what it wants they're not gonna manipulate over manipulate their hair and stuff and that's what I do to this but my shape size I keep that because that's just part of my personality but they loved it and I'm thinking like some people some actual Rastafarians may not like like that they might get offended with people with locks this is what I'm thinking like I don't know just simple minded I'm thinking simple minded that some people might get offended that, okay, you got locks, you're not a real Rastafarian, yada, yada, blah, blah, blah. But they were actually genuine in their compliments. They were actually, like, caring with their words that they were sharing with me and, like, the positive energy that they were, like, giving to me and being me being res receptive of that. And I enjoyed that. And, like, even just, like, small talk with people about my hair and whatnot. And it was cool. So, and I started to like take note like the whole time we were there, like we were there for eight hours um, in Jamaica and whatnot, that a lot of women there, their hair was either in braids or it was relaxed. And I was thinking like, girl, women, girls or women here, they don't lock their hair up. Like, that's what I was thinking and stuff. But I don't know, like I was just, didn't see any women with locked hair and you would think that I would would have thought they would have locked hair but they don't and I'm not I want to know like why like why do women in Jamaica do not have like locked locks is that more of a a man or male genderized thing that's what I want to know but as we were walking back to the ship because the ship was like right around the corner to get back to whew, let me tell you, this lady yelled from across the street. This grown woman yelled literally from across the street to me because I was walking fast trying to get back to the boat because I, I was about to pass out because I was dehydrated. Apparently I didn't drink enough water that day. She yells from across the street saying, hey, you want a relaxer? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, my freaking. <laughs> like, I was done. Like, my family is right behind me. My older sister and her fiance right behind me. <laughs> I could do I just turned back. Look at them. Look at her. I didn't say anything. My sister said something before I can say anything. She's like, no, she's good. No, she's good. 
And when I just kept walking, I could do nothing but laugh because it was funny. I'm like, this world woman gonna ask me, do I want any, like, do I want to relax her? And I'm, the first thing that comes to my mind is, no, of course. And two, not after I just spent a whole year waiting for my hair to actually look like this. And I wait for me to like, you know, see like the progression that I've put into my hair and letting my hair do its own thing. And it's finally doing what I wanted to see be done to it. And I was just thinking like, and I told my sister that you think I want to lose all this within a 30 minute process after I waited like 300 and freaking 70, no, 380 something days, something like that. 300 and, no, yeah, about 370 something days for me to like lose all this to go back to a relaxer. I haven't, I haven't had a relaxer since freaking 2011. You think I want to go back to a freaking relaxer? No, but that's like, the last, like, I wouldn't even call that a compliment. That was the last statement that I've got when I was in Jamaica, and it was just crazy. But it was just crazy. Like, my first time in Jamaica was crazy, and nobody didn't prepare me for that. I mean, I could have seen some, like, YouTube videos, but I didn't want to ruin the experience of my first impression of what Jamaica would be like for me. But it was just funny and crazy and it was just too much I, I didn't vlog as much and stuff because I wanted like actually taking the experience with my family but I wanted to vlog at least a little bit just to have that like you know footage so I can look back on and stuff so it was it was a beautiful experience I have no regrets I enjoyed everything even the people pester me. Even though at the time it was annoying as crap, I still enjoyed it because it does prepare you when you do go to like different places and stuff. But I just want to share my experience with <laughs> of myself. <laughs> like, oh my gosh. But I don't know, like, I always wonder like, okay, if I did have my locks going into Jamaica would I have had like the same impressions from other people like would I still get like the same feedback and is it because of my locks that people were more vocal to me that they said what they said or they wanted to come up to me and say what they say but it may be the reason it may not be the reason the, the people that I came across and talked to while I was there they were like really genuine and humble and nice so if you're ever in Jamaica and whatever the case may be, just enjoy your time and enjoy who you're going with and enjoy like keep good company around and you know, go in there with no problem and whatnot and take it easy. That's all I gotta say. Like 